Hey, Abbott, what time is it? It's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. It's the Abbott and Costello Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood tonight for your listening pleasure. Hold on to your chairs, folks, for here they are, Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Costello, Costello, you're late again. Well, I was watching the girls admiring Lana Turner's new necklace. Lana Turner has a new le- necklace? Yes, made out of her old wedding rings. <laughs> hey, who was that girl you were out with last night? Oh, that's my, that's my new girl. What's she like, Lou? What's she like? She likes bourbon, scotch, gin, rye, wine, scotch, <laughs> bourbon. Look, where, where did you meet this girl? Oh, at the Palladium. I asked her for a dance. Did you dance the foxtrot, the tango, or the waltz? The one step. The one step? One step and I changed my mind about dancing with her. <laughs> Why, wasn't she a good dancer? No, but she makes you forget about dancing during intermission. <whistles> when I took her home, I kissed her goodnight and got a real kick out of it. Uh, she kisses that good? No, her father caught us. Right. <laughs> Instead of running around every night with a different girl, why don't you settle down and get married? Not me, Abbott. Getting married is like going to a cafeteria. Like a cafeteria? Yeah, you grab what you want and pay for it later. <laughs> But if you're fighting crimes, you'll need a man like me. Appoint me sheriff, and I'll go from house to house and pinch every cook. <laughs> no, no, not every cook. You mean you'll pinch every crook? You'll pinch what you like, and I'll pinch what I like. <laughs> Costello, you... You'll pinch what you like, and I'll pinch what I like. You said that. You said that. Costello, why were you late tonight? Well, I overslept that, but I had a very peculiar dream. I dreamed I was a pincushion in a, in a room full of balloon dancers. And am I mad? Why are you mad? Well, I woke up just when things were beginning to pop. Right. <laughs> After next week, I'm going to get my whole... I'm going to get my own room. I can't sleep with my brother Pat anymore. All night long, he dreams he's Roy Rogers. Well, why should that disturb you? He also dreams I'm triggered. Right. <laughs> Heaven, if you will appoint me Sheriff Vincino, I'll clean up the town. I'll mop up all the pool rooms. I'll clean out all the saloons. I'll scour the alleys. How can you do that? On the side, I'm a street cleaner. <laughs> Costello, if I make you the new sheriff, you've got a lot of brave men to follow. Listen to the records of the backgrounds. Sheriff Jones, Redcoats, Northwest Mounted, 1931. Oh, yeah. Sheriff Brown, Redcoats, Northwest Mounted, 1938. Sheriff Costello, Sports Coats, Bullock Spaceman, 1975. <laughs> criminal work, you have to know something about the law. For instance, do you know, do you know how to put up a defense? Oh, sure. All you have to... Could I have that again? I said, do you know how to put up a defense? Why should I put up a defense? I already put up at the wall around my house. <laughs> I also got at the hedge in the backyard. Why do I have to put up a defense? No, no, Costello, when I say you put up a defense, I don't mean you put up a fence like you uh, do when you put up a fence. I mean a defense like when you put up a defense. Yeah, but I think you nuts. Now you think... <laughs> it's no use. You wouldn't know how to act in the criminal investigation anyhow. Oh, is that so? Yes. I was down at a morgue yesterday to see a gangster that was killed. I lifted up the sheet and there he lay, the corpus delicatessen. That <laughs> yeah, dummy... Corpus delicti, not corpus delicatessen. This was a corpus delicatessen. He was stabbed with a salami. Right. <laughs> well, I knew you were cleaning up Encino, but you didn't have to dump that heap of rubbish here on the stage. <laughs> rubbish? Oh, pardon me, it's Costello. I... <laughs> Costello is sheriff of Encino. He's going to chase all the criminals out of town. Well, buddy, you ought to put me on that job. You know I'm a regular bloodhound. From the looks of your ears, you must be pot cocker spaniel, too. <laughs> I don't have to take any more insults from you, Costello. 
I can see through you. I've got eyes like a hawk. And a beak to match. <laughs> Costello. How dare you insult my wife? She's beautiful. Why, before I married her, she had men falling at her feet. And why not? She was refereeing fights at the Legion Stadium. <laughs> Pigeon puss pop eyed penguin. When I was a girl living in the country, boys used to court me from ten miles away. They had to. They were afraid to come any closer. <laughs> Pay no attention to money. Say, that's a pretty hat you're wearing, dear. Oh, I just bought it. Mm -hmm. and, and do you think I should wear it to one side off the face? If you're smart, you'll wear it over your face. <laughs> oh, low life. Low life? Uh, by the way, buddy, I got some new shoes, too. Do you like them? They're pumps. On, on you, they look good. Well, thanks. Considering that your legs look like pump handles. <laughs> oh! How dare you? I have beautiful legs. You're bowling. My wife is not bowling. She's the only woman in the world that can walk down a bowling alley while the game is on. <laughs> Costello, for insulting my wife, I'm not going to make you sheriff of Encino, and I'm not going to give you this beautiful badge. Oh, please, Abbott, let me be the sheriff. I've always wanted a badge. Everybody's got a badge but me. A cop has a badge, a fireman has a badge, even a little boy scout has a badge. Abbott, I've just got to have a badge. But, uh, why do you have to have a badge? I'm tired of holding up my pants with my teeth. <laughs> oh, all right. I hereby appoint you sheriff of Encino. Step forward and I'll pin this badge on your shirt. Thank you, Abbott. I mean, Your Honor. Sell out. Hold still. I'm tearing your shirt. I ain't wearing any shirt. <laughs> Come on, we're going over to the sheriff's office in Encino right now. So you can start to work immediately. <laughs> Well, Sheriff Costello, you can take over at once. I've got it, Abbott. What? Ma'am broke into your room? Yes, ma'am. I'll put it on the police radio right away. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Go to 237 Mulberry Street. An old maid found a burglar in her room. Proceed with caution. The old maid is armed. 